I'm thinking how I can go and defeat that army. Because I reckon that's doable. I mean, honestly, the other thing I should probably be doing is just blockading. Because that creates war score. Although we need to keep an eye on that navy. Do we want to go all Viking on them? I think we probably do. Where we basically just jump off the ships, loot a bunch of stuff, jump back on the ships, etc. Um, so let's... Put you in charge because you suck. Although somebody with uh, extra movement. Yeah, you are extra movement. We'll do that. Then we'll go ahead and sail. In a moment. Uh, I would like to gain the devotion, please. Although this does take a... F well... No. So long as I'm not going for places with forts, we can take it in a month. And then I can just park my ships there and just run as soon as we see someone in province adjacent. And I'm assuming that all of the Ottoman armies are over on this side. <clears throat> right, so Adan has fallen. Now we just need to sit here and loot this place. I'm just trying to cause devastation. And if we see any Ottoman armies emerging in any of those provinces, we jump on the ships and run. We're not participating an awful lot to this war, but we are contributing a bit. We're an annoyance, if nothing else. And really the objective is to... Oh, crap. You know what we're going to miss out on? Poland. Oh well. If we can secure like a uh, allied alliance here, that would be great. Unlikely though. And I still have a diplomat available. Um, <clears throat> I mean, what would be really nice if Poland were to like protect us, guarantee, that's the word. I'm trying to think what the word was. Uh, Genoa likes us, and that's because we're in a war together. This could actually get us closer to Genoa. Who are the Ottoman rivals? Mamluks, Poland and Austria. Yeah. Unfortunately we're not in a position to rival well anyone. Unfortunately we're not in a position to rival the Ottomans otherwise I would and then we would have the um, co-rival bonus. And what do we need? No, we have the cavalry here. I was going to say, we need more cavalry because they uh, loot quicker. Let's see a mystery. Let's go back up to speed four. Nothing's really going to be happening while we're just sitting here stealing money. This is not even offsetting the amount of money we're spending. That's a very big fleet. We're just leaving there. And they're selling out. Crap, 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 crap. I think we're about to lose our naval dominance. 
Alright, so my nine ships are here. Do we stand any chance of beating their navies? No, because the Venetian fleet is back home. So we're going to go and land in Rhodes. And then if we see the Venetian fleet appearing, we'll go and do our thing. In fact, what I might do is just run over here. See if the Venetians emerge. They're heading home. Yeah, they're doing to us what we should have been doing to them. Just picking them off, like, one at a time. Mordred, you've been playing this game a lot longer than me. Is there a set point when nation flips from friendly to neutral? Is that purely random? Purely random. If I knew that, then I would know a hell of a lot more about this game. I can't be a too flippant about my naval exploits here because I don't have any of the galley improvements. Right, so I'm currently protecting the Venetian transports. Ooh. Um, I will jump in on this. That was a mistake. <laughs> I should not have jumped in on that. They still have 25 galleys. I am providing all of the galleys. Though Venice is on this way. No, don't stop Venice! <laughs> Alright, I lost three galleys. Damn you! <laughs> right, start building some more galleys then. Twenty nine, no, twenty five galleys against twenty four. The Venetian ones probably aren't damaged. The Ottomans almost certainly are. And Venice has their bonuses because I think Venice starts with those bonuses, don't they? <coughs> no, they don't actually. Okay, never mind. High naval attrition. Ooh. Whoops. Detach sail here. Need you to get some supplies quickly. Thank you. I'm going to stay in port here while I repair. Corfu just keeps on losing their navy. Or they just keep baiting the Ottomans. Right, the other thing I'm lacking is my Admiral. Which I should probably go ahead and hire. Yeah, not great. Well, to be fair, most Admirals of this era wouldn't be great. Do Monopoly Charters. Can I get Diplomatic Support? Yes, I could actually. And military Support? 
Can't do the D yet. Never mind. That's a lot of troops moving in. And they will have the defensive. I do outnumber them. But the Ottomans are just better. Same tactics. The Ottomans have more morale. More discipline. Wait, the Ottomans behind? No. <laughs> I'm behind. Oops. <coughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, if you guys could arrive a little bit quicker. Ah, oh, too late. So that's another large army coming in. This could well be a success here. No, don't turn around. Oh, you idiots, Venice. Join the fight. You'd win that. They can hold long enough. Right, now you're just letting the Ottomans replenish, which is silly. Ottoman war enthusiasm is waning quickly, though. Not as quick as Venice, but it's going down. You know what? I'm losing a lot of money for having my army raised. Let's turn you off. Need to keep an eye out for Ottoman transports. Although it's unlikely that they would try. Novgorod's been disbanded. My fleet is still being repaired. Who's fighting? You versus... oh, and you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not getting involved in that. That sounds silly. All of Albania's fleet just got ruffle stomped. But the Venetian fleet has finally emerged. Wait for me! Oh, where are you going? Between Crimea and Venice. You are all going... Some of you are going to the Aegean. The 26th, you arrive on the 5th of April. I'm locked in anyway. I arrive on the 2nd. Venice leaves on the 31st of March. Son of a bitch, Venice. Oh, no. I got locked in. Sweet. Um, I'm gonna go for the Papal Protégé again. We're getting our asses handed. Venice, could you please send these ships in the other way? <laughs> they get that they're only transports, but right now that doesn't matter so much. Those 16 ships could have swung this. Yeah, the Ottomans are slowly but surely seizing complete naval control. I'm running. Lost another three ships. Oh, man. Now you're losing the land battles too. And Ottoman war enthusiasm is high. 
Oh. Wait, you'll accept even though we're at war? I mean, awesome. Too many diplomatic relations. Could not care less. <laughs> this is fine. Because I'm probably about to lose the Albanian one anyway. And I am... I'm not a co-belligerent, so they can't really take anything from me. I just hope that we can stop them doing too much damage to the Venetians. And also, I really need to start raiding again soon. When was it exactly? Ah, oh, 64. Okay, we've got four years. Never mind! We're fine. Everything's fine. Meanwhile, the conversion's getting easier and easier, apparently. Of course, because we have increased narrow minded. And then once that's Catholic, things are going to really turn around because we have Greek as accepted culture, and our only country is actually part of the state religion, which means we no longer have the disunity penalties, and we have the bonuses from everything being Catholic. I am so happy that we got that alliance. That's really helpful. Ready um, to serve, my lord. Hey, Ben's people. Welcome. Tiny island nation versus the Ottoman Empire. Nothing can possibly go wrong here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who am I playing as? I am playing as the Knights. Ooh, that's a fight we could win. Are you sailing in? You're not. Straight to Messina. You're going the wrong way. I see an opportunity. Strike them. Quickly. <laughs> quickly, quickly. Go for Satalia. Yeah, these guys are coming in. When do they arrive? Tomorrow. Run away. Run away. No losses. Good. I tried. I tried. <laughs> They've still not tried to land any troops here, thankfully. Which is good, because none of my troops are um, active. Wow, my current two Grand Masters are hated. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably promote them. Yeah, you're better. Yeah, unfortunately, we are the ones who got absolutely annihilated at sea. We started out doing really well, and that's when I joined the war. And then things started to go less well. We divided our ships up too much. We were trying to blockade the Ottomans. That's where things started to go wrong. They're still down to 14. It's going to take a while. Venice are in low. <laughs> I'm in for the long haul. Good grief. War enthusiasm, war enthusiasm 45. It began as it always did with rumours, gossip and sneaked glances filled with contempt and malice. This challenge to Grandmaster Raphael's the first rule goes too far, and he was not elected properly to the seat of the Knights. People would no longer speak, but might try to depose him. At least my missionary is almost done. We'll actually have a Catholic nation. That's going to be so helpful. I mean, what would be really nice is if someone like the um, Mamluks jumped in right now. Or hell, Austria or Hungary. Or even Poland. Unfortunately, because this isn't my war, I can't call you in. Good old rule, get gradient will cost you more than you think, yeah. I mean, I don't stand to lose too much here, because it's very unlikely that they'll actually be able to take roads. But also, I don't want to get too cocky. Like, I mean, in this war I've lost 
five ships? Six? Rax reform? Okay. And gained a bunch of allies. Like, I'm now allied with Venice, Albania, Poland. Who's the other one? Oh yeah, the Papal States. So my allies are actually pretty strong. So if the Ottomans came after me, they would find themselves at war with Poland, Papal States, Venice. And Albania was mostly just so I could join this war. I could always drop them. Although, honestly, having Albania there to provoke the Ottomans isn't necessarily a bad idea. Because we want to keep the Ottomans busy in wars that they don't, don't gain much from. At least until the Mamluks are ready to strike. The more time we give the Mamluks, the more that they can... Um, coalesce their, their territories in Saudi Arabia. Secure their territories, whatever the words are. Words are hard! You know how it goes. Great, telephone's going. Ottoman attack on Lash. Venice will cede Nis and Zeta to the Ottomans. So Venice lost two settled, uh, two two provinces, which actually isn't all that terrible. Now I just need Albania to peace out. Handful of the Ottomans not to try and land troops on my lands. Because my money's going to run out sooner rather than later. Uh, although we are at war, I could be raising war taxes and I totally should have been. Oh dear, and they are carrying troops. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Noble ally, nobles ally with foreign power. The nobility was not fully subjugated during the age of the nobles and could and did strike independent alliances with foreign princes. The crowns of Europe might not have liked it, but they were nominally hard-pressed to prevent these kinds of activities. And because we're malevolent, we can gain loyalty and lose just a tiny bit of prestige. Nope, they're going for Cyprus. That's good in one way, but also unfortunate in another. Unfortunate, because my army would actually put up a fight. Good, because I didn't have any morale. <laughs> and 10k against 7k? With a amphibious landing penalty against a general? I would actually put the money on my side. Although, if we're attack, we attack behind. No, we're not. We're equal tech. Oh, wow, they splattered them. They're leaving immediately. That does not bode well. Are you coming for me? Ah, they peaced out. They did fully annex uh, Albania, which means I have my slot again. And Genoa will give Matrega to Crimea. We did not lose very much, though. Four provinces. The Ottomans only gained four provinces. And this is going to give the, uh, the Venetians time to actually um, stabilize. So not terrible. Not at all terrible. Right, first things first. Turn army maintenance off. Second thing. Group you. Mothball you. Mothball you. I need to save money. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, yes, I can fire you. I don't need you anymore. I've got my allies. That will do. Glorious. We survived, guys. We survived. And we can start looking around for that fourth ally. Naples still doesn't like us. Genoa. I still reckon Genoa might be the best option. Yes, they dislike us. But they're already allied to Venice, so it's less likely that they'll go against us. The only thing is you're hostile. If I can get rid of that hostility... We've done it once already. 
So it's not impossible. Uh, Aragon, are you still a junior partner? You are. Naples. Naples is allied to rival France. I'm going to start improving relations with France. You never know. You might get lucky. In which case I will then have Poland, Lithuania, France, Venice, Papal State. On my alliance. I still feel like I'm missing someone. Albania is gone. Hostile will go away with a hundred relations. Is that always true? 101. Either one, I can do that. Now I just need to survive a 0.01 deficit for two years. I'll take a loan if I have to. How much are my loans? Five ducats. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that still gives me 50 months, so... We, we might be okay. Turn off the fort. That's a good suggestion. Thank you. Yeah, Granada have been doing annoyingly well against Castile. I had that in the Scotland game as well. Where it was exactly the same situation. There we are. We're actually making money. Booyah. Yeah, our relations can go up to 101. The Ottomans are claiming me. But we have a truce, bitches. We have a truce until 71. I don't know why St. Damnation. I am in this trade league. Having more people joining the trade league is a good thing. It's not damnation, it's great. Grow stronger, Venice, please. Oh yeah, we're neutral. Oh, and then that goes down. Oh, because we got the minus 20 for the neutral attitude. If you didn't have too many relations. Everyone seems to be getting too many relations. I thought the AI had to keep one slot for players. Yeah, I'm going to keep on, like, poking you. Like, Alliance. Genoa. Alliance. 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 Genoa. 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 Alliance. Alliance. Genoa. Genoa. Hey, Genoa. Genoa. Alliance. Genoa. Genoa. How to make friends. Keep poking them. Right, who are your other rivals? Austria and the Mamluks. Mamluks... The Mamluks don't like me because I keep raiding them. That's fair. Austria, though. Austria would also have the am threatened by the Ottoman modifier. And... Venice is your rival. Never mind. Venice is a far more valuable ally to me than the Austria is right now. So long as Venice has time to recuperate, which they will. Do you still have a coalition against you? Venice no longer has the coalition. Good. Merchants worried about lack of protection. With our focus on free trade, our merchants are concerned that they are not getting the support they would get under a more mercantilist policy. I'll lose the little dip bit of Diplo. That's fine. I will take you. I will take you. And let's see, I have good discipline but poor morale. So long those. I want an AI rum paradox. That would be interesting. Why am I getting so many hits on Discord? What's going on here? on hospital. A suggestion has been put forward by a general hospital to create a place where the needy would be welcomed and assisted. The public health is very important and to offer a free midwifery course and some establishments to combat disease would increase the well-being of everyone. Well, 
We are called the Knights Hospitaller. So the clergy would... Wait, the clergy would lose loyalty if I set up a hospital. That's like my entire purpose. The Knights Hospitaller are thus named because they set up hospitals on the way for the pilgrims to get to the Holy Land. They then militarised to protect those hospitals once they started to be attacked. And then became a religious order after that. So why would the clergy dislike this? That this is what we are here for. I mean, I'm going to do it because it's what we would do. 